Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Today I am here home by myself with the kids. This is like the first time that I've been alone with them in a very long time. My mom had to go run some errands, like she's picking out some tiles and picking out stuff for the like bathrooms that she's redoing. So she went to go do that and then my brother went to Target, I don't know, he was looking for something. This is the current situation. I need to do some major cleaning because we are leaving in two days. Today is Friday and we are leaving on Sunday. Hello, little man. What you doing? Playing with his cars. What else is new? <laughs> You're cute. Riley, on the other hand, is over here on the couch, and I think she's a little bit sick. So she's just laying down. She has like a stuffy nose. So are you feeling okay? Yes. Yeah? Um. <laughs> she has band-aids on you guys like this one is because there's like a nail that's falling off because she got it caught in a door like I don't know a month ago but now the nail is coming off this is because she has some eczema that she said she wanted a band-aid for so don't think like that she's been like drawing blood it looks like she had an IV or something like that's not the case just has like some really dry skin in different places so we put some cream and she said she wanted a band-aid and then of course the patient over here is having ice chips in her chip cup that she got at Disney so we're just gonna make sure that she gets to rest and she's watching Mickey and the Roadster Racers so she's gonna relax here today with me yeah I'm getting sad I'm starting to like get very I don't know just very sad about the fact that we're gonna be leaving here in a couple days Joe is flying back home today but he won't be here till like late at night he won't be back till like 10 at night super random news I got my nails done yesterday so that was really nice I got a mani-pedi for like the first time in over a year well over a year if you want to see my beautiful feet there there they are but yeah I felt really nice to go to a salon so that was obviously nice like having my mom be able to watch the kids and me go and do my nails the salon that i went to was really nice too because they had like the plexiglass like they had like a plexiglass divider in front of you and the nail technician and then you put your like hands underneath like a little cutout in it so that they could do your nails so everybody was wearing their mask i felt very safe so yeah not really much going on literally it's gonna be me hanging out with these kids and getting the house in order today i've been telling you in all the vlogs lately like he's been walking so much more so it's been really nice to see that he's gotten more confident with his walking when we get home he is going to be like nearly running and i have to figure out how i'm going to keep him contained in some kind of area i know what i forgot to tell you guys last night i barely slept because this guy jackson woke up screaming like at one in the morning so i came down i got him out of his pack and play and i was convinced that i was just gonna put him in the room with me because i was so tired last night so i took him i brought him upstairs to my room and i was like okay i'll nurse him i'll put him in bed with me and he'll fall asleep no that did not happen he was literally up wide awake at two in the morning so i was up awake with him for like an hour at 2 30 in the morning he was like throwing himself across the like the, across the bed and he was like legit having a party so after that point I was like okay I can't do this all night so I brought him back down here to his pack and play and I left him in the room there and he like you know was mad for like a minute but then he passed out and went to sleep for the rest of the night but that like being up from like one to like almost three because then I couldn't go back to sleep was rough on me so I am very tired today and I am by myself so I can't really take a break today little miss how are those ice chips very good you like that are you feeling okay mama yeah i feel so bad because like knock on wood like my kids have always been very healthy like riley's three and again knock on wood like we haven't had to take her into the doctor because she's had a cold or a sickness or a flu or anything like that like she's been very relatively like healthy and i feel very grateful that she has been so the fact that she's like stuffy and has to like be blowing her nose and stuff is not a regular occurrence it's a very new thing so i'm just trying to make sure that she's comfy as she's entertained i keep giving her kleenex so she can blow her nose but obviously like with any mom like it kills you like when your kid is not feeling the best so i'm just gonna keep an eye on her today and make sure that she's doing okay and then also keep an eye on jackson and i've been taking like vitamin c vitamin d i thought a couple days ago that i was just having bad allergies i don't know if maybe it was just a cold like today i don't feel bad i have a little bit of like a post nasal drip 
but I am not stuffy, I'm not congested. I think I sound better than I have. Like in the last couple of vlogs, I've been super nasally. So, you know, no fever, nothing like that. I've been feeling okay. So maybe we just got a little bit of a cold and hopefully she can get over it rather quickly. But anyway, before we keep going with today's video, I wanna thank Native for sponsoring. I am so happy to be working with them again. I've worked with them a million times here on my channel now and this is the only deodorant that I've used like for over a year now. If you guys have never heard of Native before, first of all, this is an aluminum free clean deodorant. This is the stuff that I took with me to Disney, okay? I was using the eucalyptus and mint one and then that got me through those very hot days in the park. So this time they sent me lavender and rose, which is honestly my favorite scent. This is probably one of my favorite ones. And then they sent me charcoal too. So this one is more like, I mean, it's not just for guys, but this one has like more of a manly scent to it and Joe uses this one. So this is one of those brands that like I started working with here on my channel and then Joe started buying all this stuff too. So they sent me those and then they also sent me this new one which is called Paradise Flower and Amber which is from some new collaboration that they have with a brand called Jungalo. This one smells really good and I'm gonna actually put this on now because I haven't put my deodorant on. But this says LA based lifestyle brand Jungalo has made like a limited edition collection with Native. So they have a few other scents here tangerine and citrus blossom sandalwood and fig palm leaf and bergamot am i saying that right bergamot i don't know but they're like very kind of like almost like exotic scents but they smell really good i feel like this will be really good for spring and summer but one of the reasons and yes jackson is in my video here too anyway the reason why i love native so much is first of all it's not sticky um, that's one of the things that I really like about it. Some aluminum free deodorants tend to be sticky. This one does not. It lasts a very long time. Like I said, it got me through the parks at Disney. Oh, thank you so much. He keeps handing me. He just keeps handing me all the deodorants. Thank you so much. But then it's just got like a very clean formula. It's aluminum free, paraben free, sulfate free. It's vegan and cruelty free. So really good things in their formula. So if you guys want to give it a try, I do have a code for you guys. I will leave it here on the screen. I think normally you get a three pack for $36. You can get it for $24. $4 and then you also get 20% off on other things that they have so they have like things like body wash This is a body wash that we use I actually have some in the bathroom over there. Thank you Jackson Wyatt Thank you so much and they also have toothpaste if you guys have never seen their toothpaste This is a toothpaste we grabbed this one time when we were at Target and we started using it So they sent me a new box which I am very happy about so this is the native charcoal toothpaste and Joe and I love this only Joe took this with him for his trip So now I have one but that is it. So thank you to native again for sponsoring so happy I have new deodorants and now let me go put this away and Continue with the rest of our day. Jackson. Do you want to show everybody what you've been doing? Say I love native deodorants Yeah Say use the code down below All right, so Riley's up here in the high chair. She is gonna color a little bit. You gonna do Ariel? Sure. Sure? Then you can color Sebastian. Yeah, yesterday we were doing some coloring in the coloring books that I got her for Easter. The only thing is that she loves tearing apart the crayons. Do your kids do this too? Like they take off the wrapper of all the crayons? Like what kind of savagery is that? That's terrible. Oh, Are you sure? Okay. Let's check the inside. Look at the inside, Mama. Yeah, let's check the inside. And of course, she is not feeling too bad because she is asking to devour a whole bunch of goldfish. So either she is using this to her advantage where she realizes like I'm trying to be nicer to her today so she's already asked me for all the snacks. But whatever, I'm going to give her whatever she wants today and I hope she just doesn't abuse me. Yes? Yes? Can I help you, little dude? What's up? I'm just trying to clean up a little bit, dude. I have a lot of things I gotta throw away. Look, this was me last night trying to take stains out of my shirt. I got a bunch of stains on my t-shirts. My shoe that I love too. I don't know if you can tell, but there was like ice cream that fell on my shoe when we went to Magic Kingdom and I cannot get it out completely. So that's what I was trying to do yesterday. Super thrilling stuff. Ready? how's that painting going? Who did you just color? Flounder. And did, did mama color Ariel? Did I do a good job? Yeah. Good job. 
painting those stripes. Riley, do you want to watch a movie today? Yes. What movie do you want to watch? I don't know. Do you want to watch Frozen? Frozen. You like Frozen? Can you sing me a song from Frozen? I don't know. What about Let It Go? I don't know how to sing. Yes, you do. But only when, when I wake up from my nap. Only when you wake up from your nap. And look at this guy. He's down here trying to climb into the hammock. What are you doing? It's almost time for his nap, so I've got to put him down for his nap soon. Little mister. Up to no good. I don't know if you guys realize, but we had to put this gate here and we had to like secure it with these um, chairs because he was escaping all the time and we just couldn't keep chasing after him. So now this is our little semi-gate situation here. Bordeaux, we've got to go take your nap. And by the way, now he knows. Like when I tell him that it's nap time, he starts throwing a fit. Hey, Jackson. It's time to go take your nap. We gotta go take your nap. You ready? Whoa! Whoa! Jackson, are you ready for a nap? Come on, let's go take a nap. All right, Jackson is down for his nap, so I'm gonna try to make my chai latte. My mom discovered that they have the chai latte, the Tazo thing, is it in here? I've shared how I make this a million times, but they have this Tazo concentrate in skinny so they have like one that i guess has less calories or less sugar i don't know but there's a skinny one so i'm gonna make it with that one this time get my almond milk my heavy whipping cream to make the cold foam and then what i'm gonna do this time is yesterday i bought one from starbucks i got one for me and my mom in the morning but i saved the cup because i wanted to see if like i don't know if i make it and i use like the lid like use this cup if it tastes more like the starbucks one so that's how i'm gonna try to make it today so i got some ice i'm gonna try to look at the little lines on the cup and do like that much of the concentrates do like another half with the almond milk and then i'll mix that up and then i gotta make the cold foam for the cold foam, I do use like a little measuring cup because I try to make sure that it's equal parts heavy whipping cream and equal parts of like milk. And then I do use the little blend jet. I use that to blend it just so that it gets a little foamier. Yeah, I think that's a third of a cup. I don't think I even need that much. I actually do like half of that. I'm making an iced chai latte. I'm almost done. Sure. Oh, whatever kind of equal parts and then I take like a little stevia and I add that in there to make it a little sweeter yeah, and then I mix it all right let's see what that tastes like see, this is the cold foam you guys can see that very well now I've got it in a Starbucks cup and everything so it should taste very similar at a fraction of the cost. Oh my god. It tastes just like Starbucks. I think the lid makes a difference. Like I've made this at home a million times, like just in a regular cup. But then sometimes like when you drink um when you drink it you get a lot of the ice. So there's something about this lid that is great. So I think I'm gonna do that for now. I'm gonna save one of these. Do they sell like these lids? Like can you buy a not disposable version of this tastes delicious so if you guys like the ice try try making it on your own try to see if you like how it tastes because I'm pretty sure that you can save yourself a lot of money that way look at my little man he's still like not completely out let's see if he finally takes a nap all right I'm gonna try to do a small load of laundry so that way when Joe gets here tonight like tomorrow he'll probably want to do his laundry but at least I can take care of like the kids stuff and get most of their stuff packed away in the suitcase Not looking like Jackson's gonna go to sleep, so that's great. Great, one more random sock on the floor. But yeah, I was hoping he'd nap, but he is crying still in there. So I love that for me. You guys want to see something ridiculous? I was so mad because I have these pants. They were great. They fit me perfect. Now I'm gonna show you what they look like now. I'm trying to find like a good place to show you guys, but these were the pants that I got when I worked with Petal and Pup, and I was so happy with these pants. And I threw them in the washer and the dryer like a failure and now they have shrunken so these are my pants 
They used to be all the way to the floor. Are you guys even seeing that right? Let me get it a little bit more this way. They used to be like all the way to the floor, like perfectly touched the floor. And now they're like capris. So I love that for me. They're also like giving me a frontal wedgie. And it makes me very sad because I loved these pants. These were like the pants that I was gonna wear all spring and summer long. And it says on the tag, do not tumble dry. And of course I did because I don't read the tag when I do laundry because I don't have time for that. Like if one of my pieces of clothes is going to get destroyed in the washer or the dryer, realistically, I should not have it in my closet because I don't have the time or the patience to like go through individual pieces and see, okay, latest flat to dry or don't, I don't know, dry clean only. I don't have any time for that. So it was a bummer because I don't know, like I don't even know if I could still wear these as capris. I love these pants. Maybe I'll make it work, but they used to be a lot longer. And when I took them out of the dryer yesterday, I was like, great, another one bites the dust. Because at least like once every couple of weeks, I have something that I have to throw away because I end up ruining it in the washer dryer. Okay, Riley said she's done painting, but like, look, she snapped all the crayons. There are certain things about toddlers that I will never understand in my life. And that's one of them, so that's great. And now I've got to clean up this tray before Mimi sees it when she gets home. She's not going to like that. What are you going to play? Are you trying to co cover that? Are you trying to hide it? No. No? Mimi will find with this. She's not going to be happy about that. i got to clean it. Okay? Okay. Mama, you can clean it. I'll clean it. Do you want to clean it? Yes. Okay. All right. And you don't see this one. I wonder if it will come off with the wipey. Okay. Or if I'm gonna need something heavy duty for that. All right, let's see. We gotta scrub. A little harder. Oh, it's coming off. It is coming off. But why do you have to do that in the first place? It would be easier if you just didn't make a mess. You know? Yes. Yes. All right, Jackson is not going to nap. It is not going to happen, so we're going to come and get him. You coming with me? Yes. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Say, little man, why are you not napping? Why are you not napping, little dude? Aren't you tired? You gotta be tired, Godito. Look, I found my brother's old Woody and Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I thought she'd be excited to see that. Hey, be nice to Woody. These are like ancient. Okay, but those are Rai Rai's, okay? So he's gonna let us share, but they're not yours, okay? But oh, look, that's Woody. That's Woody, put his hat on. There you go. All right, my mom just got home. My brother got home, it's a party now. Mimi, did you have fun looking at samples? Yes. Are you gonna show me? We're gonna go to the car. Rai Rai, did you get what you're looking for? You got all his Pokemon cards. <laughs> How many boxes did you get? Look, she found your Buzz Lightyear. Wow. Buzz Lightyear and Woody. Look, he moved his ass, huh? Yeah. And this is on the floor. We're gonna do this on the floor. Let's see. This is for my brother's you bathroom really can't upstairs. Appreciate it here. And I it's don't like have, a marble. I don't have a sample. You it's a matte. This? It's not shiny. That they have it in shiny, but I didn't like it in shiny. That looks nice. So that's gonna be for the floor, and then we're just gonna do subway tile. And the shower. And the shower. Very nice. With like a gray um, grout, maybe like a light gray grout, and we're gonna do matte black. Fixture. Oh, I like that. I was gonna ask you if you were gonna do like gold fixtures or we're what? We're gonna do matte black in his, and then I like we have that. to decide on the color of his um, vanity. It's gonna have a white top. Uh huh. It's a white top. But you don't know if you're gonna do She's, like color. She says she likes like a slate gray for him. That's but. pretty. Well, I want to go see the samples. Right, right. Stay here watching the kids so that I can go to the car really quick. Be careful with that string of woodies. Cause I don't like that it's like a string. I don't want anybody wrapping their. Next around that. I put this one upside down. That's not the front of it? No. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a pretty, that's marble? This is marble. The one that she's trying to get me is very similar, but it's a porcelain, so it's half the price. Oh, nice. But I don't But know. this is for the bathroom downstairs. downstairs. Oh, this I like that. This is just for the accent wall. It's very pretty. 
So that is gonna go, that's just gonna go on the back wall, right? Mm -hmm. So then you need the wall where the, you know, the shower mm -hmm. components are and the back wall. So it's gonna be, you can't tell here no, what you can't. Like. But what is that made out of? This is a porcelain tile that's got like a concrete look. That's pretty. In the shower is gonna be this. That's what I'm saying. Like that's this is the, the floor, floor of the shower. It's got like little specks to it. Very pretty. This is the shower floor. Pretty. And then you're gonna do gold fixtures? Yes. In this That'll bathroom, we're probably gonna do gold fixtures. I like that. So yes, very pretty stuff. I will be sure to ask Mimi to film once it's done. Like, I think they're gonna start with the downstairs bathroom here first. So once it's done, we'll see what it looks like. Next time that we're down here, it'll all be finished, God willing, but... I'll kind of see if I can give you guys some updates because this is like exciting stuff. And then like I said, she's redoing both of the bathrooms upstairs. She's re kind of redoing the kitchen here. Yeah, she's like refacing the cabinets. The cabinets are staying, but you're putting new doors. Yeah. And she's getting rid of like the crown molding. So like the kitchen is still gonna look different, but the counters are staying the same. And I, I'm glad because I like these counters. These are really pretty, but it's gonna look very cool. Anyway, I took out these, um, these photo books, look at how old this is. This is from my first birthday, so this is 29 years old, this album. And I still, my mom kept my first candle. So I thought it would be fun just to show you guys some pictures. And Jackson, of course, is gonna try to ruin everything. But look, my mom used to keep all of this. Like, this was like a balloon from my first birthday. And I guess I had a Precious Moments theme first birthday. Let me find a picture of me. So you see, that was me on my first birthday. That was my cousin. <laughs> That's what I look like. Hanging out at my party. Hey, Jackson, I'm trying to show our friend something, okay? Excuse me. That's very rude. She used to save like all of my cards, like all the cards that I got with my gift. Like this is me with my mom's mom. This is Nana. My grandma you guys always see here. So that was me with her. Where's Mimi? See, that was me with Mimi with her bangs. Here, that's a better picture of my mom. My mom and her cousin. And look, that's me with my parents. This is my mom, my dad, and little old me. My mom was 22 years old there. She had me when she was 21. Okay, so Jackson doesn't want me to show that album anymore. And then I opened this one up, and this one is when my brother, I think this is more like when my brother came around, because I wanted to show you guys the pictures of Ryan, because some people say that Jackson kind of looks like him. So that's my brother. And I kind of see it. See, there's my brother Ryan. <laughs> a little dude. And that's my sister with Ryan. Ryan with his little basketball hoop. Ryan, have you seen these pictures of you? And then look, look at this embarrassing stuff. This is me. This I was probably like nine years old. <laughs> me and my sister just gonna kill me. This is my sister and I with Ryan. Did I have like a retainer there? I think I had a retainer. This is so cute, he was so little. This is like the beginning of my awkward phase, like when I had Ron Jackson, why did it stop? This was like the beginning of that awkward phase where I had a retainer and all of that. My parents. You see, that was like always us. That was like, we were always with the little baby. That kind of looks like Jackson, you guys. I don't know, you tell me what you think down below, but that was my brother. Ryan, do you see you wearing your Hawaiian shirt here? <laughs> like, look, that was me. <laughs> These glasses, retainer, like the chokers, it's awful. Check it out, my first manicure. I was 11 years old there. I think so, right? 8, 17, 01? Yeah, I think I was 11 years old there. Look at that, so beautiful. These are so fun, I'm so glad that my parents like always kept pictures of us. Look how cute he looks here. I think, yeah, he was two here, and I was 11 and my sister was nine. Happy birthday, Ryan. You see, that's Uncle Rai Rai. That's Uncle Rai Rai. Who do you think that is? That's Uncle Rai Rai. That's Uncle Rai Rai. That was Papa. Yeah, it's Papa. What's this girl? That's Titi when she was little. What's that? Oh, uh, that would be Uncle Rai Rai. Mama? That's Mama? And Mimi. So yeah, I thought I would share that with you guys. It's like one of my favorite things to do when I come to my parents' what? house. I look through old photo albums and check Mimi, out how old I feel. Dad, because I, I look at those photos and I'm like, man, time has flown. <laughs> What's the matter? That was Dada swimming. That was not Dada. That was Theo Carlos. Mama. What? Wait. What? That was you. 
<laughs> yes, that was me. That was me looking very weird. Alright, so here we go. This is Jackson's lunch today. He's gonna have some leftover mac and cheese, some carrots, some cantaloupe, all of his favorite things here. What do you think, Gordo? Wait, is this still too hot? You gotta blow? You gotta blow on it? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> if it's a little too hot, you can blow on it. Mimi, she knows the words perfectly. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm trying to make her her lunch and she's putting on a little concert over here watching Frozen. Yeah. Alright, so it's a little later. My grandma came by to see the kids, which was nice. And now Riley is outside with Mimi doing I don't know what. I think my mom is watering plants. Jackson finally went to sleep. I put him down for like a late afternoon nap. So let's go see what they're doing outside. It's a cat movie. Are you cleaning the dirt soup? Is that what you're doing? Riley was making dirt soup here. What are you doing with a palm leaf? What are you doing? Are you having a nice day? Are you ready to go inside? Yeah. Let's not do that. Let's, let's not do that. You ready to go inside and have a snack? Yeah. Alright, dinner is here. We are having pizza and I'm having my favorite pasta so I'm very excited. The pizza looks like delicious i'm gonna have some of that i'm gonna see if riley will have some pizza today too but this is one of my favorite pastas i try to get it every time that i make it down here it's called fiocchi something i don't know but it's like pear fiocchi de pera or something but it's delicious it's like these little purse i'm gonna burn my finger but they're like little like circle things filled with pear and I don't know. It's like my favorite thing. So I'm very happy that that's what I'm gonna eat tonight. All right, so it's a little later. I actually just got back home. So I went out to this like food truck event to go support my friend because her husband has a food truck and he yeah. makes cookies. So it's Cookie King Miami and I'm gonna leave all of his information down below because these are the best cookies like we have night owl cookies every once in a while we love those night owl cookies but these are vegan and they are so delicious hello my nail came off. oh your nail came off yes so, can you see the cookies <laughs> she's like um i heard something about cookies did you did you see the cookies yes i'm going to show everybody the cookies now so i asked him to put the cookies in two different boxes because some of them have nuts and some of them don't so i think these Maybe the ones with the nuts and then he also gave us some banana bread and then these were the rest of them So we're gonna have a little party tonight I told you I just talked to him He got on the plane to come back home and I told him that I went and I got Greg's cookies He said, he said that if I don't leave him any that he's not gonna talk to me for three days So we're gonna have some cookies. These look so good All right, so I got Jackson to bed and I was gonna wait till Joe got back home to like end the vlog So you guys could see him but he got delayed so Unfortunately, he's not gonna be home till like 11. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog I'm gonna go to my room and I'm it's a little dark here. I'm gonna go to my room and do some editing and stuff And that way tomorrow when he's home, I don't have to worry about any work or anything, but that's gonna be it So I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today again a very big thank you to native for sponsoring today's video All the other info will be down below in the description box if you guys want to place an order for the native deodorant Like I told you guys earlier It's the deodorant that I've been using now for like over a year and I love it. So, so that's it um, I think this is gonna be the last uh, Miami vlog because I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow since we're gonna be home relaxing So I'm not sure when the next Miami vlog will happen But I'm glad that I was at least able to film a little bit while we were here. So that is it I love you guys to pieces Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys